Let's discuss some important points about OSPF router ID. First of all, how to configure OSPF router ID, especially on Cisco routers, right? So simply we use a command, we go into the OSPF process and router dash ID, whatever ID we want to give. For example, let's say we have this network of OSPF and we want to configure OSPF router ID on router number one. I go here, so I can say router router OSPF one and router dash ID. For example, whatever we want to give 5.5.5, .5. we can give it dotted decimal notation or we can give in the normal decimal number. That's all. And after changing or after giving the router id we can say clear ip ospf process one time yes and then do show ip we can use do whenever we are not in the enable mode if we are in config or other modes then we can put do and it will run the commands of enable mode in other modes as well so do show ip ospf that's all and here we can see the router id is 555 so this is how we can assign router id to an ospf router very simple command another important point is that can two routers in an ospf domain have the same router id the answer is no although the system will allow we can configure but then it will not make the neighborship between the routers with duplicate router IDs and all OSPF router ID in domain in an OSPF domain should be unique. For example, if I have given this router 555 and currently do show IP OSPF neighbors. So we have a neighbor which is full, which is 9.9.9 .9 and 9 is on which side FA0 slice 0, which means this side, right? This router has do show ip ospf this has an a router id of 999 for example if i give router dash id if i give it also 5.5 .5 and do clear ip ospf process then after some time you will see that the neighborship will not be formed why because there will be duplicate router id show ip ospf router 2 has a router id of 555 and router 1 it also has a router id of 5.5.5 .5. so after some time we will start getting the error of duplicate router id or some mismatch id show ip ospf neighbor and it is still in x start state so it will never go to the full state because the neighbor id is also 5.5 .5. so give it some time and you will see the error once it has finished exchanging the hello dbd those kind of all five messages so the answer is two routers in an ospf domain can never have the same router id <clears throat> Then another question is, can we change the router ID in an OSPF domain? The answer is yes. I just showed you that we have changed the router ID, but it is not recommended because after the process has started, if the neighborships are already up, the routes are being exchanged, the network is up and running. And if we change the router ID, we have to reset the whole OSPF process for it to work. Even if they are correct, still we have to wait we have to bring down everything so network will be disturbed. That's why when we are designing a network, configuring a network in the start of the process, we must decide router IDs and we must give router IDs. And even if we are in the development state, if they are not live and we want to change the router ID, we can change. But after every change, whether router ID or any other OSPF change, we must use this command clear IP OSPF process so that router id and everything will take effect now let's see what has happened to our whether they have 
exchanged whether they have become the neighbors so you can see they are still in x start state which means they are not moving further to loading and full state so they will never become a neighbor there is no neighbor yet because of duplicate router id so if you enable the logging you will see in detail that why this is all happening because of the duplicate router id so the answer is we cannot have duplicate and changing yes we can change next we will discuss about ospf router types as well